But now we've got the largest conjugated system we're going to explore here, 135 hexatriene. Uh, in this case, you've got six adjacent atoms that all have a p orbital involved in this pi system. So with six p orbitals involved, you're going to make six molecular orbitals, psi 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The lower half, psi 1 through 3, are bonding. The upper half, psi 4 through 6, are anti-bonding. You'll see they alternate. So here, psi 1 is symmetric, then anti-symmetric. Psi 3 is symmetric. Psi 4 is anti-symmetric. Psi 5 is symmetric. Psi 6 is anti-symmetric. So notice all the odd number ones are symmetric. All the even number ones are anti-symmetric. That'll be important again later in this chapter. Uh, if we start counting up the number of vertical nodes as well. So in Psi 1, there's 0. So in Psi 2, we've got 1. In Psi 3, we've got 2 vertical nodes. In Psi 4, We've got three vertical nodes. In Psi 5, we've got four vertical nodes. And in Psi 6, they alternate all the way across, so you'll end up with five vertical nodes. So exactly everything we've predicted here. Uh, and again, you could be expected to draw an orbital in this. They might say, you know, draw the HOMO or something like that uh, for 135 hexatrine, and you'd be like, okay, six pi electrons, that means pi three would be the HOMO, which means it should be symmetric and have two nodes. And being symmetric in two nodes, then you'll figure out how to construct it. Um, so that's kind of the approach we're going to take here. So we're going to go back and start with the lowest energy molecular orbital. And as you recall, in the lowest one, that's always easy to draw because your wave functions match. They're in phase all the way across. So, and then your highest energy one, psi 6 in this case, is equally easy to draw because they just alternate all the way across. All right, so then we'll move on to psi 1. Psi 1 is going to have one node, and if you recall, when you have one node, for it to be symmetrically distributed, it has to be right down the middle. So that's where our node's going to be. So everywhere we don't cross a node, the wave functions are in phase. But cross that node, and you better switch so that they're out of phase. All right. So psi t uh, 3 now is going to have two vertical nodes. To have two vertical nodes, you want to cut each half in half. So if I cut this half in half, so there's going to be a node right to this side of this molecular or that p orbital looking structure. So, and same thing right here if I cut this half in half. So the halfway point is not between this orbital and this orbital, but between the exact halfway point here in the end. And that's why it's not right on this orbital, it's right next to it. So if we go, again, if you don't cross a node, the wave functions match, but every time you cross a node, they alternate. And again, they alternate, and where they don't have a node, they match. All right, moving on to Psi 4 here. Psi 4 is going to have three vertical nodes. To have three vertical nodes, well, one, if you have an odd number of nodes to be symmetrically distributed, that's supposed to be in red, you've got to have one right down the middle. So we'll start there. We've got one right down the middle. And to keep the symmetry here, we'll put one there and one there equidistant from the middle. And again, if you cross a node, they alternate. If you don't cross a node, they're in phase. Cross a node, they alternate. Don't cross a node, they're in phase. Cross a node, and they alternate yet again. And then just the opposite with the green in this case. All right. So now we're going to have a little bit of a challenge on the next one. So the next one here, uh, we actually have lots of nodes, but we only have one place where there's going to be uh, constructive overlap. And so with only one place with a constructive overlap, to keep this thing symmetrical, and notice it's going to be symmetrical, so that anti-node, if we'll call it, or that bonding overlap, constructive overlap, has to be right in the middle. Uh, let's just keep this matching the same. So I'll make this in green. We'll just keep this matching right there in the middle. And that's where we won't have a node. So that's the only place we're not going to have a node with only one place where we're not having a node. Again, to be symmetrical, it's got to be in the middle. So, and then from there,
and we'll see they're just kind of really going to alternate besides that point. So we cross one there, we cross one there, we cross one there, and we cross one there. This is the hardest one of the six for me to draw, FYI. So if you struggle, me too. Memorize it. Cool. There are the six molecular orbitals for 135 hexatrine. And all, again, odds are you probably got to know how to draw any one or all of the six on your exam.